let's work the stride. Let's go. Let's go. First and foremost, I know what I'm doing. I'm working my stride. I'm not worried about a strike. Okay. Chop it up. Focus on what you're supposed to be focusing on. Every time you do drill work, be hyper-focused because believe it or not, that focus is going to go straight into your game and you're going to find yourself not even having to turn it on. It's just going to come like that. Focus is my stride. Okay. So I'm going to get into my load. You may be wondering why I have a medicine ball in my way. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> your brain's number one job is to protect you. And it's also to keep you nice and comfortable. So if you're not willing to do the work to get great, well, have fun being comfortable. All right. So I want to encourage you guys as you're doing this drill, don't look at it as like, oh my gosh, there's a ball in my way. I'm going to trip. That's the obvious. What are we using this object for? Obviously to get up and over in our stride. So what happens is a lot of girls will do what I call a swoop stride. Okay. And I don't know about you guys, but I've seen plenty of girls actually trip over the mound with their pull foot. It's crazy, but it happens. So they get here and they go into their pitch and they just swoop, right? They just swoop their leg through. We need to be aggressive in our pool because at the end of the day, just like a center fielder uses her pool to throw a dot to home plate to get that runner out, guess what she's using? Ah, that pool leg, right? Same mechanism is being used when you're pitching. Keep it that simple, guys. All right, now, if by chance I trip over this ball, please laugh. Please make it viral. I might trip before I even post this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so obvious as stated, this ball is not here to hurt me. It's for me to work on getting over. A little thing I like to tell my girls is thigh to sky. So that simply means thigh to sky. Notice how when my glove comes up, guess what else comes up? My thigh. But let's look a little deeper. Look at my foot. Ah, showing the catcher the bottom of my shoes. Okay, a swoop stride will get you this. That's, you're not showing your catcher anything but your shoelaces. Homegirl's gotta see the bottom of your shoe. If you don't have a medicine ball, you can use a soccer hurdle. You can use another glove. Um, you can use a small cone. Just make sure it's challenging in a way to get you up and over. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna go one, two, pause, feel it, three. From here, I'm gonna pitch, four. Now, if you happen to hit this during your drag, that's more feedback. Actually, it's really good feedback okay, because that's telling you that your drag is actually dragging in a really good place. You're not coming out and going like this and creating a question mark in your drag. No question marks, okay? You're gonna create a little banana drag. I know my job, I know what I'm focusing on right now. Okay, it's all stride. One, notice how my leg is staying bent. Two, both legs actually. Three, showing the catcher my cleats. Fourth time I'm pitching. Let's see that from the front, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. I know my job. I'm working on my stride right now. My pull, side of sky, showing my catcher my cleats. One, two, it's a little off balance. Third one's gotta be good. Mm, love it. Fourth one I'm pitching. Nailed it. All right, there you go. Let's keep working on that stride. Oh, and remember, your stride is a direct reflection to your drive. They are completely related. So if your front side is weak, guess what else is going to be weak? Yeah, it's no business in the front, party in the back kind of situation. It's a loss of power, a loss of consistency, and the worst thing, a loss of confidence. Don't allow that lack of confidence to creep in when you're training. Train strong so when you get out there in a game, you don't have to turn it on. It just shows up.